how are you all? Hope you all are fine and doing well. You are really well at home. You are practicing all the question answers. Those are discussing here through these videos. Okay, so you must watch the regular videos, those which are uploaded here, as well as share with your friends because sharing is a good thing. So, without wasting time, let's get started with the hot question of chapter 3 of your science book. Okay, so here chapter 3 that is atoms and molecules. From here, if you start from the introductory part of this chapter, so one question may come as far as I think that is all about the Anu and Paramanu. It means the atoms and molecules. Okay, as we know that Anu is known as the uh, Paraman uh, molecules, whereas Paramanu is known as uh, the atom. Okay, so based on this matter, we can make a question like this. Uh, for example, if I say the question like that, um, one day Rohit was watching the film Paramanu, those which have recently released the Bollywood movie Paramanu. There, he observed the entire part of the movie and uh, the question was asking in his was uh, just making in his mind that about Paramanu. What is Paramanu actually? So, can you explain the Paramanu? Yes, if you read this topic, so from here easily you can get the concept that the Paramanu is the Hindi term, the Hindi language or Hindi term of atom. Okay, so we know that atom are the most smallest or most tiniest particle of any kinds of matter. Okay, those which are known as atom or paramanu. So from here you can easily get the question. This question may come of a number or marks two or marks one like that. Okay, so it can go through the horse question as well as if we observe the law of chemical combination. Okay, before that there is also law of conservation of mass. Law of conservation of mass. Okay, so here question may occur like that uh, if we try to uh, hammer, if we try to beat on a metal with hammer, so will it uh, lose its mass? Will it lose its, lose its mass? So question may come like this. So your answer will be no because mass neither be created nor be changed. Okay, mass neither be created nor be changed in a matter. So from there is we can get the concept from here and we can write the answer so far like this okay so that's it next if we go for laws of chemical combination see as chemical combinations means we know that whenever uh, for any kinds of matter that will be the combinations of different different particles okay of different different substances so for that purpose when we are using one to another particles and we are going for mixing together so for that purpose will this lose its mass no we know that different particles have their different different mass so mass neither be changed whether its volume can be changed right its volume can be changed so we can write like this the law of constant proportion. Got it? So suppose in a question it is given in a type of force question that we know that atoms uh, are the smallest particle of any substances, its mass are constant, its relative, con relative numbers are constant or relativity is constant. So based on this matter, so which type of theory okay, or whose concept is most popular to understand about the atoms and the all about the theory of the atoms okay or who composed all kinds of theory on or based on atoms so here you must have to write that the john dalton scientist john john dalton first time he gave the theory on the atom okay or atomic particles or atomic theory so from there is we can get such type of uh, conditions or such kind of properties that uh, atoms are smallest in size at uh, its uh, volume it has a constant volume okay like its masses are constant it can be of the homologous uh, homogeneous particle or it can be the mixing of the heterogeneous particles of different particles so like that matter you can easily say that's it next the next topic is about the, the atom what is atom so from here this atom through a many type of hot question may come okay but uh, one simple question uh, i will say you that one day uh, one day rima one day rima the younger the uh, younger uh, sister of rohit rima the younger sister of rohit was uh, beating a glass 
or splitting a glass on the floor. Okay, and suddenly the glass broken into different different pieces or many pieces. But in that time, Rima said that, look, brother, these all are all the atoms. Okay, look, brother, these all pieces of the glass are atoms. Okay, is she correct? Question may come. Is she correct? Got it? So here, what will be your answer? No, right? As we all know that these are most finished particles are called that cannot be seen with our open eyes. We use the uh, microscopic okay, or objects or instruments to watch on this matter. So if we easily say that these are not the atom. Got it? This is the compound. We can say that these are the compound. Why? Because they are the combination of the homogeneous matter. So that's why it's a part of compound. Got it? So from here is we can give the answer. That's it. You mean that uh, when any time hot question comes or case study based question comes, so like that question comes, which just uh, means ag aggregately contains one mark or two marks. Okay, not more than that. That's it. Next, uh, if we say for what are the modern day symbols, yes, based on modern day symbols, got it. Uh, on this matter, also you know that if there are different symbols are given in your book. Uh, okay, like hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur. So all such symbols are very, very important. You have to practice it. Sometimes question may come in a case study based question or in a horse question that all those symbols and the num names of the symbols are jumbled. Got it? You have to match it up. Got it? So from there also it makes a kind of hot question for you. So you have to practice on this matter. Next, the atomic mass. What about the atomic mass? If you read this topic, uh, most probably no question occurs, no uh, means hot question. Okay, not the theoretical question, but hot question. It doesn't come on this topic. Next, symbol of some elements. Symbol of some elements. Okay, sometimes it is given uh, you that uh, like this question. It's a very simple question that I'm asking, that I'm uh, just discussing here. That the question is, uh, in during the exam or in chemistry exam, it is said to write the chemical symbol of gold, okay, or write the chemical symbol of hydrogen. Rahim wrote H two. Rahim wrote H two. Okay, is he correct? So question may come, is he correct? So what will you answer? Look, for this type of question, most probably students will write, yes, he is correct, but no, he is not correct. Okay, when we are saying about the actual symbol of it, so you have to write the symbol of an, of an atom, okay, not the molecule. He has written H2, H2 means when Two H are combined together. When two H are combined together, that time it makes H2, and H2 is a molecule. Got it? But I need the atom, the symbol of atom. So that's why you have to write only H, the capital H, that will be enough for it. Got it? So capital H will be the symbol for it. That's it. So in, in such a manner, uh, ocean makeup. Next, mm, atomic masses. Different atomic masses are given in your book, okay, of different elements like hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur. In that manner, you have to memorize this. May question come, uh, what type of question come uh, like this way or by matching way in that matter. Next, uh, how do atoms exist? How do atoms exist? Question may occur like that. Uh, one day in the class, when I was entering, one day in the classroom, in our classroom, when I was entering, that time I saw that two of my friends are discussing together, two of my uh, uh, friends are just uh, making quarrel to each other based on the existing of the matter, molecular atom. Okay, whether one is saying atom, atoms are exist in the world, other is saying atom doesn't exist in the world. So, who is correct between them? Who is correct between them? And why? Got it. One is saying that atom doesn't exist in the world, and is saying atom exists in the world. So between them, who is correct? Justify or explain. 
but it, so such a question may come it's a very new type of question it may come so for that purpose what you have to write yes as we know that atoms are, are the most tiniest particles of our body or substance so of course it exists okay so that's why the friend those who, uh, who has say who say that atoms exist in the world is correct okay so from here we can easily say why and how can we observe them actually atom of any substance cannot be um, shown properly or cannot it, it cannot feel by us or you cannot touch them as they are very very small particle so we cannot touch them we cannot feel them but when the same amount same type or different type of atoms comes together and averagely they mix together at the time they mix a compound right they mix a matter and that matter can be touched that matter can be feel okay so this will be your explanation got it so in this way we have to say yes matter exists or atoms exist in the universe that's it next what is a molecule got it so question may come just uh, as same as atom as atom has come in this way uh, so for molecules so, so question may come that uh, suppose uh, your mother your mother uh, is showing a piece of a chocolate okay or your mother uh, is giving a bite of chocolate to you got it and asking and asking whether this is whether this is a molecule okay whether this is a part of molecule got it what will be your answer what will be your complement so that time what you have to write of course this is a part of molecule or we will say that this is the combination of the molecule this is the combination of the molecule what for because here the entire bite of chocolate has a, it has taken the choco part the sugar part the milk particles all such particles mixing together from the flavor those which are mixed over there to mix such type of mixing or heterogeneous matter many molecules are added together so of course molecules are present there so in such a way question may come it's a very simple question and very short type of questions okay next molecules of elements means in an element how many molecules are present basically but if i say hydrogen in hydrogen you know that two molecules are added there if we say ozone ozone has three oxygens are there it means three molecules are present there so in this way monoatomic diatomic triatomic or polyatomic okay are said so such question may come for the hot question but i will not give the assurity on you but theory based question may come next it is given what is an ion what is an ion means cation and anion based on this matter basically theory type theory type question comes but it's not the hot question or sometimes case study based question comes a case study is given like a story and from there uh, based on ion question comes so you can easily write all those things next writing chemical formula how to write the chemical formula by bonding together okay so for that purpose you have to read about the valency okay so the tendency of combining the tendency of combining one matter or one uh, molecule to another molecule to make a combination between them and to make uh, a kind of product okay so in such a way uh, they used to make up together that is known as the valency so valency you have to read as well as the compounds name this all will come through theory based question okay short question but not the hot question that's it next formula for simple compounds formula for simple compounds means how to make how to exchange the number of electrons okay the outside electrons or outer circle how to exchange them to make the product or salt so this is also under theory based question next molecular mass and mole concept in mole concept it said it can be said that one day our teacher was uh, asking about the avogadro constant avogadro constant what is the avogadro constant it may come okay and for what purpose we used to um, discuss about or what, for what purpose we discuss on it okay so we can easily say that avogadro constant is 0 to 6.022 and 22 to the power 23 right so this unit is state for one particle one atom of any matter 
one atom of any matter okay and one one atom basically to say one mole m o a l e so based on mole concept avogadro number is used got it for one mole of any substances avogadro constant is 6.022 into 10 to power 23 unit okay 6.022 into 10 to power 23 unit so it is used for entire type of matter those which have one one molecule in them okay it means one one molecule of any matter any matter whether it is solid liquid or gas any matter but their constant will be 6.022 into 10 to power 23 that's why this unit is known as the avogadro unit or the avogadro number okay that's it means commonly or in general it is used for every one mole of uh, one mole of uh, what is it, atoms that's it so in this way this chapter finished and here few of the numerical portions are also present but through numerical portion no hot's question will come as in this video we are discussing about the hot's question basically so i will not discuss about the numerical matters numerical matter will be discussed on any other video okay those which not be continued by hot's question that's it so you must practice i think you have got the points uh, from which theories may the hot's question come in exam okay so let's get started to practice on this matter i have just told one or two hot's question like this question make many more questions by yourself because you have much concept okay on this matter so read this practice it and if you have any doubt any uh, kinds of confusion on any topic okay on this chapter you must ask me thank you so much till then bye bye read proper see you in the next video